hello and welcome to with my plant we today we will deal with the terminology related to flower anatomy before that let's understand the basic structure of a flower so these are the common uh, uh, flower parts which are uh, which can be seen in general in all flowers okay so the first part is the sepal sepals are basically the green uh, petal like structure or in present in the base of the flower next are the colorful um, uh, part of the flower that is the petal and uh, uh, if you see the inner side of the petal there are reproductive structures called as stamen and pistil so pistil are the basically the um, female structure or female reproductive part and stamen are the male reproductive part okay stamen carry anther and filament so anther is the uh, this this structure is called as anther and this part is called as your filament and in case of uh, pistil there are three parts one is stigma second is style third is ovary so stigma is the upper uh, or tip part of the pistil the stalk which is uh, connecting the stigma with the ovary is called as style and the base part of the pistil is called as ovary which carry ovule okay so this is the basic structure of a flower so uh, the terminology um, are uh, first one is the calyx and second is the corolla calyx are basically the sepals and sepals are usually green in color and they protect uh, the developing flower bud okay so corolla corolla is the inner to present in the inner to the calyx and these are basically the petals and these are colorful and the role of uh, these petals are um, to attract the pollinators so the calyx and corolla are together known as a perianth next is your androecium androecium is the male reproductive part and it 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 uh, carry uh, stamen and stamen is having basically anther and your filament okay so anther is basically the pollen producing part next is your gynoecium gynoecium is the female reproductive part and it is uh, consisting of carpel carpel is having three important structure one is stigma which receives the pollen style which connects the stigma to ovary third is the ovary which can uh, contains ovule and uh, these ovary and ovule are basically um, producing fruits and seeds next is your uh, bisexual and unisexual flower bisexual flower is uh, such flower which is having both androecium and gynoecium in a single flower okay so these flowers are called as bisexual or perfect flower most flowers fall in this category okay and some flowers are having your uh, both the structure in different flowers or in some plants um, the flowers are in the male flower and female flowers are uh, different okay so such flowers um, in case of such plants uh, some uh, flowers they carry only stamens or only the male part and um, uh, some flowers they carry only female part okay such flowers are called as unisexual flower the example can be papaya and date palm and here the example can be many you can say uh, hibiscus and um, many flowers are there okay and these common flowers such as your marigold your uh, dahlia all are coming under this bisexual flower next is your symmetry as per symmetry flowers can be divided in three groups one is actinomorphic second is zygomorphic third is asymmetric so actinomorphic meaning radial symmetry radial symmetry meaning if we uh, divide a, uh, a a flower uh, in any plane we can get a uh, uh, two equal radial halves okay so a flower can 
be divided into two equal radial halves in any plane passing through the center we can call it as a actinomorphic flower example can be mustard mustard datura and chili okay next is your zygomorphic flower zygomorphic flowers are basically bilateral symmetry they uh, these flowers can be divided into two similar halves through only one specific vertical plane example can be pea gulmohar bean cassia some flowers are there which cannot be divided into two similar halves we call it as um, asymmetrical flower okay kana is a example so uh, let's see what is actinomorphic so if you see a flower if i divide it it in, in any way we cannot get a two similar half structure okay uh, or two halves with similar structure such flowers are called is called as asymmetric flower okay some flowers are there which are having four petals okay so if we divide it through any plane we will get two equal halves such flowers are called as symmetric flowers some uh, flowers are there if we divide it in two halves just in one plane um, uh, through if we if, if we are dividing in one plane we'll get two halves such flowers are called as zygomorphic zygomorphic these symmetry flowers are basically actinomorphic i hope you guys are uh, understanding this thing next is your trimeres tetrameres and pentameres flowers so this is the basically the uh, referring the number of flower appendages if the number of flower appendages or floral parts are common or um, occurring in multiple of 3 we call it as trimeres if it is um, uh, present in number which It can be multiplied by four. We call it as uh, tetrameres. If it is uh, the number of flower parts are present in multiple of five, then we call it as pentameres flower. So, example of trimeres is lily. Tetrameres can be mustard, and pentameres can be any any flower such as your hibiscus. Okay. so this is basically uh, the uh, regarding the uh, number of flower appendages in uh, in a plant in a flower basically and next is your uh, two type of uh, flowers category one uh, with bracts another without bracts the plants or the flowers with bracts known as bracteate flowers and without bracts are called as e bracteate okay so uh, the example of bracteate flower can be hibiscus rose e bracteate flower can be your uh, touch me not then your uh, mustard okay so now what is bract bract are such structure or uh, uh, you can say these are um, uh, reduced leaf like structure or rudimentary leaf present in the base of the stalk of a flower okay so this type of structure is called as bract so i i hope you guys understood whole the terminology part 2 of this uh, terminology class will come very soon uh, 
आई होप यू गाइज अंडरस्टूड होल टॉपिक इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग और यू वॉन्ट ए सिंपलर वर्जन ऑफ दिस टर्मिनोलॉजी लेट मी नो आई विल प्रिपेयर एन अदर वीडियो इन ए सिंपल मैनर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट टू डेज क्लास थैंक यू